Authorities in Arizona have released dramatic dash cam footage showing the moments leading up to a self-driving Uber car's fatal collision with a pedestrian. The video released by Tempe Police on Wednesday shows the car driving 38 pH in a 45 mph zone along a relatively empty roadway last Sunday night. As the car continues on its journey, a woman walking while rolling her bicycle is seen crossing the street. The clip stops just a split second before impact. According to police, neither the car or the driver made much of an attempt to stop, according to the Phoenix New Times. The victim was later identified as Elaine Herzberg, 49. In another frame, the driver, Rafael Vazquez, is seen behind the wheel as the car rides on its own. In the seconds leading up to the collision, Vazquez, the safety driver who must take control of the car if there are any problems, is seen looking down into the side. Seconds later, Vazquez grows alarmed when she realizes the car is about to hit the pedestrian. The footage appears to back up Vazquez's claims that she was alert during the ride and nothing she could have done would have prevented the fatal collision. The video is disturbing and heartbreaking to watch, and our thoughts continue to be with Elaine's loved ones, an Uber spokesperson told the Wall Street Journal. Our cars remain grounded, and we're assisting local, state and federal authorities in any way we can. Vasquez was supposed to act as a safety driver and take control of the vehicle if anything went wrong. She told police that Herzberg, who had spent time in prison for drug offenses, stepped out in front of her with a bicycle carrying multiple shopping bags and that she had no time to break before it hit her. She was traveling at 40 miles per hour at the time, well within the 45 miles per hour speed limit and insisted that she was alert but that nothing could have been done to stop the crash. Her story was supported by footage from cameras fitted at the front and back of the Volvo SUV that Vasquez was in control of. Earlier this week it was learned that Vasquez had run-ins with the law in years past, including an arrest and conviction for attempted armed robbery. Vasquez had two felony convictions when she was hired by Uber for its self-driving car trials in the Phoenix, Arizona, area. Her January 2001 conviction for attempted armed robbery led to a five-year sentence of which she served more than four years being freed in November 2004. Vasquez attempted to rob a blockbuster video store with an imitation firearm. At the same time, Vasquez was convicted of unsworn falsification committed in 1999, meaning she made a false statement to a public officials, and received a concurrent one-year sentence. At the time she was known as Raphael and identified as male. It is not known when she transitioned to female. At first, police wrongly described Vasquez as a man. The driver said it was like a flash, the person walked out in front of them, said Sylvia Moyer, the Tempe police chief. His sick first alert to the collision was the sound of the collision, Moyer told the San Francisco Chronicle on Monday. It's very clear it would have been difficult to avoid this collision in any kind of mode, autonomous or human-driven, based on how she came from the shadows right into the roadway. The accident prompted Uber to pull all of its self-driving cars in Arizona and in Pittsburgh and Toronto, where they are also being operated in test mode. The fatal crash is the first of its kind since the cars were introduced to roads in 2016. A separate incident last year saw one vehicle flip onto its side. Herzberg's death has sparked concern over whether the vehicles should be trusted in the same way as regular cars but police have since said that the company is not at fault. It is not clear if or when Uber plans to return the vehicles to the road. In a statement, an Uber spokesman told DailyMail.com on Tuesday, Our hearts go out to the victim's family. We are fully cooperating with authorities and investigations of this incident. Friends of Herzberg have called for the technology firm to be closed down following the crash. Daniel Clapthor, a friend of Herzberg, lashed out at the ride-sharing company, saying they must face harsh penalties over the death. Uber should be shut down for it, Clapthor told The Guardian. There has to be a bigger punishment than not allowing them to drive it on the street. Questions have arose as to the driver's qualifications, particularly given her criminal past. Vasquez was found guilty of conspiring with a friend to rob $2,792.28 from the Scottsdale branch of Blockbuster Video, and of using an imitation firearm to commit the crime, according to court records obtained by DailyMail.com. Vasquez, who worked for the entertainment chain at the time, was with another employee Gilney Shinsky when Joshua Page held them up outside a nearby branch of Bank of America and relieved them of the day's takings, as well as Nishinsky's wallet. It later transpired that Vasquez had plotted the attack with Page, who used a hobby bench model gun to carry out the attack. After accepting a plea deal, Vasquez was sentenced to a five-year prison term on January 18, 2001 which she served at ASPC Florence, a mixed-security jail. 
prison records show Vasquez worked as a landscaper, a cook, an education aide and as an administrative assistant during her time inside. Vasquez, who is originally from Tucson, Arizona, is one of four children and lost her mother at the age of three, according to letters of recommendation lodged with Maricopa County Superior Court. Letters sent before sentencing paint a troubled picture. Younger sister Christina, 36, described Vasquez as a person who taught me to look on the bright side of things and that to be different was a privilege and being different was what made the world so interesting. Vasquez, father, Rafael, 81, said his child was responsible and dedicated to his job and begged Judge Louis Araneta to strongly consider the minimum possible sentence. But an uncle Richard Wall said Vasquez, in known to the family by middle name, Stewart, as a child, was a really mixed up young man, who needs help but not the kind you get in prison. He added, his father married again right after Stewart's mother died and they moved away and started another family. Stewart was only three years old, and I believe he was not given the love and attention he needed from a loving mother and father. A second aunt, Portress Cable, also told the court Vasquez had been badly affected by losing her mother aged three and said the family continued to call her Stewart, contrary to what name he gives himself. Cable continued, We have been corresponding regularly with Stewart since he has been in jail. His letters are very disturbing. He talks about wanting to die. He is very remorseful and vows that he will never break the law again. Herzberg herself had a criminal history and had been in and out of custody for minor offenses. Neither she nor the driver are thought to have